Please welcome to the stage the incredibly funny Ian Carmel, everybody. Uh, hello, everybody. How are you doing tonight? Make some noise. Yeah. My name is Ian Carmel, and my pronouns are kiss my ass. <laughs> good joke. It's a good joke. It's a solid joke, because it's true. You know what I mean? And then, That's the kernel of great comedy. I, wh what am I going to talk about? Let's figure it out all here together right now. I'm Jewish, which congratulations to me. I, it's, a, it's a strange time to be Jewish right now in America. Anti-Semitism is on the rise, but it's still so far below a lot of the other problems. Like, worrying about being a Jew in America right now is having, is, it's like having a broken ankle at the emergency room. <laughs> like, you're sitting there like, ah, oh, fuck, this sucks. Somebody gonna do something about this? This is terrible. I hate, and then somebody gets rushed by with like three gunshot wounds, and you're like, oh, 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 okay. Well, you know, a little perspective is nice. That's good, that's good. <laughs> It does suck, though. It does. <laughs> it's a little weird, like, the Jews keeps trending on Twitter all the time. It keeps trending on Twitter, and every time I go look at it, every time I click on it, like, it's going to be good one of these times. Every single time. I just have never learned my lesson. I go into it with the energy of a Dickensian orphan sticking my head up against, like, a sweets shop every time. <laughs> I click on it thinking, like, what's going to happen? Would they just name the three safest religions and we came in number two? What happened? <laughs> never. It's always bad. They're never like, we're giving the Jews jet skis. It's not... <laughs> I don't know. It's, it's, it's strange. They, I, uh, I'm a 38-year-old white man, so the, the, the Kanye West hating Jews thing absolutely devastated me. <laughs> I took it really hard when Kanye decided he hated Jews. It was, it was maybe the worst thing that's happened to me in the last five years. I, <laughs> I spent a lot of my time and energy defending that man to everyone around me all the way up until the Jew thing. Like, all the way. When he ran on stage and took Taylor Swift's award, I was like, well, that's not how I would have done it, but Beyonce did. <laughs> Beyonce did have a better video. Yeah. Every, everything, <laughs> every action, I defended all, I turned, my mother was like, I don't like that Kanye West. And I'm like, you're a fucking idiot. <laughs> Listen to this song he wrote about his mom. I did that to my mother. <laughs> so now she's like at the hospital telling the other nurses, you know who's nice is Kanye West. <laughs> yeah. I did it to my, so Kanye, I defended him when he put out a song where his opening lyrics were, if I just fuck this model and she just bleached her asshole and I get bleach on my t-shirt, I'm going to feel like an asshole. Those were the opening lyrics. And when I heard that, I was like, Kanye, you've done it again. You've done it again. Nobody's done that before. Nobody's rhymed asshole with asshole. Most people. Most people rhyme a word with a different word that sounds the same, but not you, my friend, because you're an innovator. Shakespeare never did it. Robert Frost, two roads diverge in the woods, and both of them sucked. <laughs> the fuck out of here. I never looked into it. My friends were like, that's not a good lyric, and I was like, it's a genius lyric. I didn't even wonder why he, how that, the physics of it all. Like how, the fact that he got bleach from someone's butt onto his shirt means that Kanye was out here having sex with a shirt on but no pants. <laughs> Kanye West was Winnie the Pooh fucking. He was doing that. <laughs> Just out here, oh bother, fucking like Pooh Bear. <laughs> Even the Trump stuff. Even when he came out like supporting Trump, I was like, well, he's probably wrong, but I'm take another look at the policy, I guess. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> and then he said he, he, didn't, he didn't like people like me, like Jews, which, you know, I don't like me that much either, so I guess it's... <laughs>
That was devastating for me. Kyrie Irving, the, the NBA basketball player, I, I posted a link saying he didn't like Jews too, and that, that, that was devastating. He actually didn't say he didn't like Jews. He posted a link to a documentary that said that the, the Jews, who we've all come to know and love, <laughs> aren't the actual Jews, and that we've just been pretending to be Jews as a scheme. <laughs> and I have to say, as far as schemes go, <laughs> there have been better schemes. <laughs> there have been a lot of opportunities for us to say, ah, the jig is up, we were just joking. <laughs> you think like maybe the fourth time we got kicked out of Poland, we would have said, psych, we're not really Jews. Poland, they kicked us out of Poland, like four times. Poland, Poland? <laughs> Poland said they didn't want to hang out with us? <laughs> Fucking Poland? Not France, not Switzerland. Poland was like, get out of here. What the fuck is going on in Poland that we can't hang out? <laughs> Poland. <laughs> Whatever. If, if, if Kyrie wants to say that like he's the original Jewish people, that's great. That's fine with me. He can be the original Jews, and then we will just convert to whatever he's doing. <laughs> because I don't know how to be anything other than Jewish. I couldn't be like a swarthy Protestant. That isn't like, oh no, I'm, I'm an opinionated Lutheran. That's what I <laughs> There's too many soups that I've been accustomed to for too long for me <laughs> to be anything but Jewish. I don't know. I think, though, as a Jew, I have, I mean, just as a white guy, even, I have, I've definitely fetishized black culture. That's, that's the thing I've, I've done in my life, you know, for sure, with the rap and the basketball and all that. Those are some of my favorite things. With the rap and the basketball? <laughs> Oi! What's become of Crown Heights? I sound like a bad character in, like, a musical about Brooklyn in the 1940s. What is all this? With the basketball? <laughs> Why can't I get a Kanish anymore? <laughs> but I do think sometimes fetishizing other cultures comes with its own punishment. I, I will say that. <laughs> like, black people made rap look so cool that us Jews thought we could do it too. <laughs> and don't share this with anyone that I said this. I don't realize this is going out, but even if you're listening to this at home, don't tell anyone I said this. Even the Beastie Boys, who are our coolest Jews, even the Beastie Boys, when they rapped, I wouldn't say it was ever cool. <laughs> it was fun to listen to, but I wouldn't say it was ever cool. Even like the coolest Beastie Boys rap was like, do you know the Muffin Man? Money hit him in the face with the frying pan. Like, <laughs> That's our coolest Jew. <laughs> it's tricky. <laughs> I don't know. I, I mean, I think every generation has said this, but I don't know if we're going to be able to keep co-opting cool culture like that. I don't, like, I, I'm sure there were people who thought that, like, white people would never start saying bling bling, and then that definitely <laughs> happened. <laughs> That definitely happened. But if I, like, if, if, like, I'm sitting with my mom one day and she's, like, eating, like, a lemon piccata chicken and she's like, oh, my God, this chicken is serving cunt. This is amazing. <laughs> I'm going to have to put a stop to that. <laughs> I lost 180 pounds during the pandemic. I did. Thank you. Thank you, great for my health, great for my health, confusing for my comedy. I don't know who I am anymore. I used to come up here and say, ham sandwich, and I would get a standing ovation. <laughs> it's weird because I don't feel different. I don't feel like a different person, but like, I guess I look a little bit different, but I don't even think I look that different. Like when I was bigger, I used to look like I owned a deli, and now I look like I own a worse deli. <laughs> I li learned while I was losing weight that one of the big reasons that I, I had put on so much, an unhealthy amount of weight is that the, I have tremendous anxiety. I'm a very anxious person, and I never thought of myself 
as an anxious person, but I, I, when I was anxious and I treated it by eating and, and, and drinking alcohol and just do it, filling my body with as much as I could so I didn't feel things. And, and through, you know, like therapy and, and, and all that, I've learned that I have anxiety and I never thought of myself as an anxious person. I always thought that like anxious people were like walking around spilling files, like, oh, the schematics to my flying machine. Like, <laughs> And that's not me. I'm not like, I'm not a, 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 anxious people are chihuahuas. I'm a big dog. It said it on most of my shirts. I know I'm a big dog. But I am, I'm an anxious person. And one of the ways I've learned to deal with that is through meditation. I meditate every single day. And I didn't for the longest time because I always thought it was hokum. I always thought it was just like bullshit. <laughs> Hokum. For those of you who don't know what that means, bullshit. <laughs> and and but it 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 doesn't have to be. It's not always like hippie woo woo stuff. I always thought that meditation used to be all just very like, very tall crystal, <laughs> thunder egg wind chime. <laughs> you know, but it doesn't have to be like that. Sometimes, meditating, can just be sitting quietly, by yourself, for ten minutes, while you think. It's weird that Ronald and Donald are names. <laughs> Surely one of those would be enough. <laughs> and what happened when the first group met the other? Probably a bunch of Ronalds hanging out. How you doing, Ronald? Not bad. How are you? Oh, it's always a good day when you're a Ronald. You said it, friend. <laughs> hey, who's that guy walking up the street? And that guy gets there and he's like, hello there. <laughs> My name's Donald. <laughs> and they're like, wow, I'm sorry, did you say your name's Ronald? <laughs> no, I didn't. <laughs> I said my name's Donald. <laughs> what the fuck, why? <laughs> Your name's, <laughs> why would you be named Donald when there's people are Ronald? We're already Ronalds, and you're a Donald? That is such a fucking Ronald thing to say, huh? <laughs> then, there's, then there's Ronald McDonald. That's, he's a clown. <laughs> That's a clown's name? Ronald McDonald? That's weird for a clown to have a person name. All the other clowns have clown names. They're like Bozo, Puddles, Pennywise. Those are clown names. And then this guy's out here with like a no It's a silly person named Ronald McDonald. It rhymes, but still, it's a person named Ronald McDonald. What is that, the Obi Trisa clowns out here? Also, he's hanging out with the Hamburglar? Those guys hang out. <laughs> Ronald McDonald and the Hamburglar hang out. They're like spending time together. But the Hamburglar is stealing hamburgers? So like... <laughs> So he's selling hamburgers, and the hamburger steals the hamburgers, but they're friends, so they like have a relationship. So what's going on? You know what I think is going on here? Is a fucking, the hamburglar is stealing hamburgers, selling them back to Ronald McDonald, who's then selling us back the hamburgers he sold to us already. He's selling them twice. That's what's going on here. Also, Grimace, nobody, nobody's checking in on Grimace. He clearly has a health issue, and nobody's having a conversation with him. Is like, what's the basis of this friendship? Certainly not honesty. I'll say that right now. Grimace needs to be in a fucking hospital, all right? He's purple, he's giant, he uh, 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 something's wrong, okay? That's all I'm saying. And then, 10 minutes have gone by and you've meditated. <laughs> Thank you, you're right to clap. Uh, <laughs> you should, after that long, incoherent, rambling session, do the same thing you do after someone plays a magnificent cello solo. <laughs> Uh, listen, you guys have been wonderful. I've been Ian Carmel. Thank you so much for your time. I really appreciate it. Ian Carmel, everybody. That was great. That was great. That was great. Ian Carmel. Yeah.